Right now in your 13 Action News update, police are looking for the person who shot and killed a man at a gas station in Chinatown. It happened in the parking lot of the Circle K on Arville and Spring Mountain Road Saturday night. Police say two people were fighting before one of them shot the other. The shooter ran away while the person who was shot was rushed to the hospital. That's where he later died. This investigation is ongoing and there's no word on if the suspect has been identified. A crash sent a Las Vegas Metro officer to the hospital after a truck slammed into his police unit Saturday night. This happened at the intersection of Walnut and Lake Mead Boulevard. Witnesses tell police that the officer had the green light, but the driver of the truck failed to yield when he made a left turn. The truck hit the officer and he was thrown from his bike. The officer was taken to UMC with serious injuries. Police arrested the driver of the truck and he faces DUI charges. A lot of people have already hit the road on their way back home from their Labor Day vacations, but RTC says if you're thinking about leaving soon, you might want to hold off until after 9 tonight or even tomorrow if you can. Traffic should be back to normal then. And keep in mind, RTC is operating on its Sunday schedule. Kelsey? Well, Justin, for your holiday weekend, we see that heat continuing. Close temperatures landing at 108 degrees by around 3 o'clock this afternoon, 105 through 7 p.m. So even through this evening, we're hanging on to the heat along with clear skies and light winds. We'll stick with that through Tuesday into Wednesday, even into Thursday. That excessive heat warning expected to expire by Wednesday night, but uh, Thursday we're still above average by about 8 degrees. Here's the good news. We're staying hot over the next couple of days, but we do have relief on the way. We're watching for more cloud cover, cooler temperatures, and some rain chances as we work towards next weekend. That was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktnb.com, and our free mobile app.